So what have we, we got here? So we have quantum locking. The, the superconductor is locked in space, and it stays wherever I put it. You see, this is quantum trapping. That's amazing. As, as long as it's so, the super is superconducting. It's frozen with liquid nitrogen. Upside down. Right. And it stays locked. So the fact that it's it's superconducting is locking the magnetic field in yeah. three dimensions, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's and pivots. You see, because this is a symmetric, it can rotate without breaking without break the locking. The locking doesn't break. Right. Because it so it stays there on the, the x and y, but not on, but the, it pivots on the yeah on the axis yeah. of the magnets. You, you see, if yeah. I can move it yeah. on the side, it will again pivot around the axis of the magnet because it makes sure that uh, the magnetic field inside of it stays the same. Right. It's astonishing. Can you put it on the track for us? Yeah. I just levitate it above the track quite high, and I can just rotate it. So it's actually floating above the surface. Yeah, it's not floating; it's locked above the surface. So it could you could tilt it at an angle, and it would yeah, still fly around. Yeah, it could be like this, and it will just go around like this. Because I go and put it at different height, and then like this. And lock it at the height. Lock right. it, yeah, different height, different configuration. Right. And I can even lock it at the uh, opposite way. If you could just hold for a minute, okay. I. I'm doing the so same it thing, I'm locking down. it upside down, and then it is suspended. Fantastic. Okay. Um.